All right, today is Thursday, March 1st. We're here in Lima, Peru, uh, Grand Hotel Boulevard for breakfast. And it is a return to normalcy for sure. Scrambled eggs and bacon. Can't get much easier than that. So great start to the day. First of all, I'm gonna tell you, this is, this is kind of, you're gonna love this. Larry and uh, Alan and myself had lunch at Ramsey's restaurant last April. And I said, Larry, we gotta plan a trip for next year. Where do we wanna go? What do we wanna do? Well, there's this thing in Peru. I said, okay, well, I'd like to get a lot of first time cooks if we can. Let's do something kind of easy. <laughs> no problem, Glenn. We can do that. And so we kind of planned out and we talked about it. And it's going to be, you know, it started out, but it morphed into a whole lot of stuff. So we had our plans, but as Larry says, God had his agenda. And I just, I'm proud of all of you guys, the troopers, and you've, you've hung in there. And I know it's not been always the most comfortable, packed in the back seat, throwing up in the front seat, what, you know, just all kinds of stuff. But uh, this is. Uh, uh, it's great to uh, suffer a little bit, if you will, for Jesus in that way. I have a friend who loves me. Who loves me. I have a friend who loves me. His name is Jesus. And uh, he loves me. He loves me with an eternal love. He loves me. His name is Jesus. Then all you change in the next two verses is the pronoun you and we. You have a friend who loves me. And we have a friend. Okay, so it's just a, a little, uh, one of the most favorite, if not most well known. Breakfast and our morning devotional and meeting are done. We're headed off to our friend Wilma's school. Uh, should be exciting. Really looking forward to see what she's done with uh, with the school here in Lima, Peru. We're here at our friend Wilma School in the Homus district of Lima, Peru. Um, we're here on top of this hill. You can see down below all the houses, kind of the, the, the slums. This is where the squatters come when they come up from the mountains into Lima, Peru for bread and fish. Here's the playground equipment right on the edge of the cliff for the children. Um, it's a incredible sight up here.
In each community, there's a director. And there was a director in this place, and I asked him to give me a lot. He said, I don't give it away, you, you're gonna have to pay for it. I said, no problem, I can give you something. And from the beginning, he, he looked to give me the worst piece of land. And this was just a, a mess, a garbage dump. A lot of big rocks, boulders. Nobody wanted it. But I said, it doesn't matter, I'll take it. He asked for 300 solas. And he said, I'm gonna clean it. And instead of cleaning it, he made it worse. He put more and more trash. He said, if you want to do something, do it. I said, I just take that as a Porque child. Mi Dios está because my God is with me. This gentleman has always been against Pero, me. But God revealed to me to show him the opposite. And on top of all that mess, we began to construct. It took eight years to, to make. Yeah. She would buy tanks to, to supply water, and people would come and break those tanks and just spill the water over. In spite of that, I knew God had called me, and he was going to back me. God has been with me in these eight years of construction. And in each place, God has sent people to help me. On Saturdays, uh, delivering those, those uh, lunches. And I've had up to 150 children. There was only this piece here. But God never abandoned us. We always had enough to supply all the kids that came. But one day, speaking with Pastor Larry, I said, I'd like to do more, but there isn't money to, to continue to construct. And Larry suggested, well, why don't we make a school? I felt the same, to make a build a school for these kids. Began to build and God has supplied everyone each day. We've never failed to come one day, but God has been supportive all the way. There was a project that we had in our hearts to do and I asked an architect, how much does it cost to, to get this project done? He said $3,500 and I didn't have that. So at one point, two men came. He had an appearance of a European. He was, he was smoking and he was asking for it. And I said, that person is a Christian. What's he want from me? And I said, I'm a And he asked, what are you going to do? I'm making this, I'm building a school for kids. He said, are you crazy? This is, a, this is a dump, too many rocks. I said, it doesn't matter. This is where the Lord told me to build it. And he, and he asked, do you have a project lined up? And he asked me how much it would be. And I said, 3,500. He says, I'm going to give you the 3,500. But this gentleman is smoking. I don't think he's Christian. He's lying to me. And in a week, the money was there. She asked for his email address because she wanted to be accountable for the money. After confirming that amount and how it was being used, I never heard from him again. I don't know if angels smoke. <laughs> 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 I'd like to uh, let's have a word of prayer with Wilma before we go. Father, I challenge every young child that comes through the door on Monday morning. Yes. This will be a life-changing experience for them. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would anoint these teachers and bless yes. Wilma, strengthen her. 
empower her by your grace. Give her wisdom beyond even her understanding today that your Holy Spirit will guide her moment by moment. Lord, teach us to wait on you. Yes. Teach us to lean on you. For each of us, Father, nothing is impossible with you. And we just pray, Father, that you'd extend your hand of love over Wilma. Father, you know your provision in the future for her. We're praying for that right person to come. Are persons who can carry this vision forward, yes. Lord, when you when you call Wilma home to you. So we pray and ask you, Father, that everything be committed to you. And we thank you for your supernatural blessing and strength over Wilma today again in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Underlay, underlay, underlay. We're currently stopped at a red light and we've decided to save time. We're going to exit the bus on the red light to save so we don't have to go all the way around in a big circle. It's T minus 80 seconds. Uh, let's run. 60 seconds. Let's go. Wow, we did it. That worked like way better than I thought it would. All right, fantastic experience at Wilma's school today and her uh, other little space that they have. Uh, she has lunches for all the children up in the in the rural areas of the mountains. Amazing experience. Our, our next mission now uh, is shopping. A little bit more selfless, but uh, going to be fun with the team. Nevertheless, we're going to head down to the, the square and check out uh, the markets. successful shopping expedition accomplished we got rid of most no of one got mugged. mugged everybody got rid of most of their we're soles we're not back yet. yeah we're not back yet Mucho but bravo. we made it out of the marketplace Popcorn. 
mí, de los dos flojos del equipo. Está aquí, en esta presentación, hablo So we found him in it to Larry's favorite chicken restaurant. It'll be your favorite after tonight. It'll be your favorite after tonight. <laughs> big words, big words. <laughs> Promises is the gift. I promise we're eating chicken again. She's oblivious to anything. You could, you could stroke her, her uh, shell and it would for a second. She was totally oblivious. She was about once every day. Asking if they wanted to. Yeah, more hands like to do one. All right, we just murdered some Norkies, right? <clears throat> Our fearless leader says this is better than KFC. We got to take a vote, all right? Is this better than KFC? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's better than KFC. Absolutely. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah? I have to go yeah, back. I, I thought it was. Definitely. Yeah. It's better than KFC. Let's see. KFC. Best chicken in Peru. Uh, better than KFC. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, no, not better than KFC. Not better than KFC, Dad? Much better, much, much better. better. Much than better than KFC, what do you think? Mucho grande. All right, <laughs> better? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, much better. Oh, guys, we got slaughtered. We got slaughtered. It, it is hands down better than KFC. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to agree. I gotta agree. <laughs> KFC, listen, listen. Maybe if KFC still had grilled on the menu, we could have a conversation. But now it's just a hearty fryer. It is. It's very different. But the chicken itself, the chicken itself, grilled to grill. This is better. This is better grilled. Rotisserie better than the grilled. You made me no more. No, no. Everybody, everybody has their own opinion. Sorry, Colonel. I feel like we've we've betrayed you, man. But you let us down. Should have left the uh, should left the grill on the menu. Oh, thank you. We're on a mission back in another Norkies. Late night, last minute, change of plans, ice cream run. Alan, what are we eating? Guanabana and maracuya, passion fruit. And guanamana. What is guanamana? I can't translate that. But I'll Google translate it for you and get back to you. <laughs> and that's the white one? It's the white one. Delicioso. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah.